Hello everyone. Today we will perform an experiment to find out the magnetic field along the axis of a coil. Here we are going to find out two quantities. One, as I said, the magnetic field intensity along the axis of a circular coil, which is carrying current. And there is the Earth's horizontal magnetic field by the deflection of the magnetic needle method. This is the formula which we are going to use here. This, this is the magnetic field which is produced due to the circular coil that is mu naught n i divided by 2 a square divided by a square plus x square to the power 3 divided by 2. Here b is the magnetic field produced due to the circular coil n a n is the number of turns in the coil a is the radius of the coil x is the distance between the center of the coil and where we want to measure the magnetic field mu naught is permeability of a free space that is equal to 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 Henry per meter i the current which we are passing through the coil so here another formula is there this is to find out the horizontal component of a earth's magnetic field that bh is equal to b divided by tan theta where bh is horizontal component of the earth's magnetic field and theta is mean deflection uh, by the magnetic needle this is a schematic diagram or you can say the circuit diagram of the experiment here we have the coil so this coil is nothing but the solenoid which produces the magnetic field the magnetic field is influenced to this magnetic needle and this magnetic needle will deflect here we are going to measure the deflection in the magnetic field along the axis of the coil so this is the axis of the coil this is center of the coil and here we have the axis of the coil on the axis of the coil we will keep the compass box this is a small magnetic needle due to this magnetic field produced in the coil due to the passage of the current this will start deflecting that deflection reading we are going to note down here the connections are very simple so our aim is to pass the current inside the coil and produce the magnetic field so to pass the current so this has to be connected in series to the battery so one end is connected to this and the end is connected to the negative of the battery and in between we have a commutator commutator you can just check it here so this point goes here and it is connected through the commutator and then it goes to one end of the battery then another point I'll consider here so this point is going through the commutator and connecting to the battery other end of the battery simply it is connected to the battery with this commutator which the work of this is to change the direction of the conductor change the direction of the current in between we have connected the emitter in series that is to measure the current we can have this emitter or directly in in some of the batteries there will be inbuilt emitter so battery this power supply itself shows what is the current flowing inside the coil or uh, these knobs represents the number of turns if i connect between these two then this the number of turns in the coil will be five turns if i connect this point and this point the number of turns in the coil will be 50 if i connect this point and this point the number, number of turns inside the coil are 100 so we have to take the turns in the coil as 50 so i have connected here first point and the third point so that the number of turns inside the coil are 50 as we all know that the current carrying wire or current carrying conductor produces the magnetic field around that so if xy is the wire and then if it is carrying current I, then magnetic field produced at this P is dB, that dB is proportional to the current flowing through that and then this is proportional to the dL, that is the small length element, then this is proportional to the sine of the angle between, sine of the angle between the tangent drawn to the element and the line joining the point that is the sine theta and it is inversely proportional to the 
square of the distance between the point and the element so all together if i write the formula for this the formula will be dh db or dh is is proportional to i dl sin theta divided by r square or this is db is is equal to it is k i dl sin theta divided by r square or you can take this proportionality constant that is k as sin theta here we have the circular coil like this and current is passing through this we had we can take the number of coils as n and if i want to find out the magnetic field at this point p so this is the distance from the center of the coil to the uh, the point where where i want to find out the where i want to measure the magnetic field and this is the a is the radius of the solenoid or the coil so at this situation the uh, the magnetic field produced at p can be written as it is mu not n i divided by 2 a square divided by a square plus x square to the power 3 divided by 2 in tesla to find out the earth's horizontal magnetic field we should con consider the resultant of that for example for example so along the y axis if i consider this is a bh that is earth's horizontal component of a magnetic field so this is the applied field so we are applying the field like this for example let us say this is the north and south poles this is north pole this is south pole so along the let us say this is the needle let us say this is the needle or the compass box okay and then uh, when perpendicular to this we apply the external field produced by the coil produced by the coil when i apply this will rotate this needle will rotate in this direction in this direction so there is a angle between this and this so this is the direction resultant direction of the needle so it produces the theta <coughs> from the geometry the horizontal com component of the earth's horizontal component is in the in this direction we can find the earth's horizontal component very easily by the geometry okay that is the tan theta is equal to tan theta is equal to here opposite is is b b is the opposite this is the b base is bh and this is the b over here so that b divided by bh so earth horizontal component is equal to it is b divided by tan theta here we have these all apparatus so this is the coil or you can say the solenoid and which has been connected to these four knobs this is the first knob second third and fourth if i connect these two in consideration then there will be five turns in the coil if i consider this point and this point or if i connect this point and this point there will be 50 turns in the coil if i connect these two extreme knobs then there will be 100 full coils 100 full turns in the coil so this is the coil this is the compass box here we have a magnetic needle and this is a scale to measure at what distance the magnetic field we are going to measure and these are the connecting wires here we have commutator to change the current direction this is the battery or power supply we should set this apparatus in the magnetic meridian of the earth this is the compass box here we have uh, the four quadrants as you can see there are four quadrants from 0 to 90 0 to 90 0 to 90 and 0 to 90 so we have to set this to 90 here so the, here there is a 
90 degrees and opposite also 90 degrees. So we should take this to the center. We should take to the center. This is center of the coil that is 0 here we have and this 0 should be to the 90. Here we have this 80. You should turn this, rotate this and make it to the, it should coincide. This 0 should coincide to this 90. And at the opposite end also, the 0 should, this 0 should coincide with the 90. Uh, we are aligning this coil in the magnetic meridian of the earth. So that now this uh, magnet is in the magnetic meridian of the earth. So that we should align this coil to this magnetic meridian. Now this is at the at some angle. This magnet is in the magnetic meridian, in the plane of the magnetic meridian of the earth. So this coil should also be in the plane of the magnetic meridian. So now it is tilted. So this magnetic magnet is in this direction and the plane of the coil is in this direction. Now we will align this coil to in this plane by using this needle. This needle is showing some deflection that is 30 degrees. If I make this to 0 then it will become in the magnetic meridian. So I will I'll tilt, I will rotate this entire setup to make this needle to coincide with the 0. Now this needle is coincident with this 0 and at the other end also this needle is coincident with the 0 and further we have uh, adjusted this 90 to 0. So there are two main steps. First thing is we should keep this compass box at the center and then make this 0 coincident with this 90. After that rotate the whole apparatus to make it uh, uh, in the magnetic meridian by coinciding this needle to the 0 this side and that will be automatically 0 at that side. So this is the initial setup. Now we will connect the wires to give the current to this coil. So it is uh, as I said what we should do is we should pass the current in this coil. For that I will take a wire and then connect to this knob. And another wire will take, I will connect to this 50 number. It, it indicates that there are 50 number of turns inside and these are connected to the commutator. So this is the, this is called as commutator or the current uh, direction changer. So I will connect over here. There is no as such uh, polarity to this because we are just supplying the current to a coil coil will not be having any direction. So upper part I will connect here. Okay. Now make sure that these knobs are 0. There should not be any pre-current in this. These are connected like this. And now I will just uh, connect these two. I will use this knob and then rotate this. If I rotate this, these two wires are connected and these two wires are connected. And current start flowing into this. Let us keep some current in this. 0.2 current I will keep. 0.2 amps of current I am going to keep in the battery. So this is the course and this is the fine tuning. This is 0.2 amps of current. As I said the current in the coil, there is a deflection. There is a deflection that we are going to note down. This is around 59. So we should measure this uh, perpendicular. We should look at the needle perpendicular because we can, if I, if I look at this if I look at this, you can see the mirror over there, below there is a mirror, 
and this is the needle which we have and there is a mirror image of that so we are looking at some angle and if i look from this angle itself then it shows the wrong reading right so we should look at from the top that is perpendicular to that so that this mirror image this image and this original needle should coincide at that instant only i'll get the correct reading so i'll adjust this camera to the top and then try to read this so now this is that uh, mirror image is disappeared and i should read at this from this angle i should read so that i'll get the proper reading so we have to take this as theta 1 and this at this end we should take this as theta 2 this is theta 2 and this is theta 1 and note down in the tabular column this is the tabular column here we are going to take the four trials this is the current passing through the coil that is 0.2 amps and this is the x that is the distance now we have kept at the center at the center x will be 0 cm and these are the deflections so uh, now we have measured theta 1 and theta 2 already i have written here theta 1 is 71 degrees theta 2 is 72 degrees now theta 3 and theta 4 we have to take so we have to change the direction of the current now uh, current is flowing through this coil and coming back from this coil so now we have to change the direction of the current by rotating this now current will current direction is changed now these two wires are connected and these two wires are connected so that the direction of the current in the coil is changed again we should read the readings now, the needle has rotated in other direction so we have to read the readings from perpendicular to this at this end we should take it as theta 3 and this we should take it as theta 4 top from the top we should we should read the readings and take the and note down the <coughs> readings here so this is theta 3 and theta 4 right and and the second trial we should increase the distance x that is to the 5 centimeters now slowly increase this without disturbing the setup because we have set uh, we have set these coils in the magnetic meridian of the earth so without disturbing without touching these this uh, any scale slowly we should take this to the 5 centimeters 5 centimeters is here so 90 is here coincident that slowly we should take this 90 degrees to the 5 centimeters so this is adjusted to the 5 centimeters then again we should read this now what is this this you should take as a theta 1 this you should take it as a theta 2 and note down in the tabular column then change the direction of the current change the direction of the current and again note down the readings this is theta 3 theta 4 similarly increase the distance now you go to the 10 centimeters distance then again take it this as a theta 1 theta 2 change the direction of the current again it will deflect in the other direction take theta 3 and theta 4 in the same way we should take the readings four trial readings we should take 0 5 centimeters distance 10 centimeter distance and 15 centimeters away from the coil and note down corresponding theta 1 theta 2 theta 3 theta 4 these two are in one direction of the current and these two readings are in the other side take the average of the readings find out b by using we have to find out the bh that is earth's horizontal component b divided by tan theta uh, find the mean of this and result it so what exactly we are doing in this experiment is uh, this is the coil and this produces the magnetic field and this is the compass box where we have a tiny magnet which is aligned in the magnetic meridian of the earth so there are two uh, magnetic fields are acting on this tiny magnet one is the earth's magnetic field 
another is the magnetic field due to this coil so both are perpendicular so earth's magnetic field is in this direction that is north south pole and the magnetic field which is producing due to this coil is in this direction uh, because the current is passing circularly like this in this coil and the magnetic field produces due to this is in this direction polarity of this north and south uh, poles of this coil depends on the passage of the current flow that depends on the direction of the current in this okay as we change the direction this the direction of this needle will also rotate in opposite direction because of these two magnetic fields one is the earth's magnetic field and there is magnetic field due to this coil the resultant will be something with this angle so we are reading this angle itself and we are noting down from this angle we can easily find out the horizontal component of the earth which is there as a, as this pencil indicates the horizontal component of the earth's magnetic field is parallel to the surface of the table or this xy plane 